Okay, here we have this device that we're going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial we're not going to use a PC. We're going to use a method that's completely PC free to recover our device. What are we going to do? Well, first of all, we're going to be connected to a Wi-Fi network to do this same process. We're going to connect to the Wi-Fi networks. We're going to click on jump here. We click on jump. We're going to wait. Uh, we're going to show you the path of our device. As you can see, our device has a screen lock. It also has a forgotten Gmail account. We're going to click where it says use Google ID. We select use Google ID. As we can see, our device is completely locked since we have forgotten our email address and our password. What are we going to do? Let's go back. There are many methods that no longer work on these devices, as we used to go into privacy policy here. And before we shared our data, we're going to click on It and this option will load. Then we're going to select the Xiaomi logo here. It says MI and then it would take us to this section. Being here in this section we are going to click on the three lines on the right side. Top, three lines. Then we click here where it says log in. We click on log in here it gave us the option to share. We are going to see, it still lets us, let's see. Here we click on share. It seems that it is already giving us that option. We go here in the Google account, here in the Google account. Let's see what we are going to do here, here we are going to see. Share, none of that is working. Well, as we see that none of that is working anymore, what we are going to do is use a. We are going to use a locked SIM card with a pin code to be able to enter our device. We had said a SIM card and a pin code to be able to access. No, a SIM card we are not going to use two SIM cards. One locked with a pin code and another that is not locked without any pin code. We are going to leave it like that. Uh, how are we going to do it? We are going to call the emergency. Here we dial 911 and now what is this option? Is not working when we get what is the Google mass we give it. Here previously but it is no longer working. But there is a method of how to enter. We will explain it, we will use what is the keyboard. An OTG. What this OTG is. And we are going to enter our phone to. Be able to enter the device we give it go here in emergency call 12. We give it call and we are going to give it here. In enter. As we have entered. We are going to enter. We are going to enter the lock code. Ready, it would take us to this section, we can now withdraw. We can remove the charger. Now we are going to give it here where it says SK skip. Go, we are going to locate all these options. Our location, we are going to select our location.
We are going to give it here in OK. We are going to select any. Any of those stores that appear here. Any of those stores, we are going to select this store. We're going to click on share here to see here as you can see here it lets us. Advance in this option let's see if it lets us enter. This configuration here to see if it lets us enter what it is we're going. To select any number we're going to click on next any number. That appears that is the number that we dialed for the emergency call and we're going to write here. www.youtube.com We're going to click on it. We're going to wait for it to load, we're going to click here. For it to load, now we're going to click on YouTube here. And it seems that it's letting us like that if it lets us. We click here, we go to the ball. Here we click on the nut here we're going to have the accessibility option. We enable accessibility, here control. Accessibility settings here we select accessibility menu. We're going to enable it, ready, it's already enabled. We're going to go back again, back, back. Back, let's see. Back, now what are we going to do? Let's click the arrow here, we'll click the ball here. We'll click here in settings. Here we'll look for the configuration location. Here we'll look for all applications. Here we'll click the three dots. Show system. Here the Google services will appear. We're going to disable these Google services. As we can see now it's letting us disable that application. It's letting us disable the application. Let's go back, we'll click on share again. Let's see if it lets us enter Google Chrome, let's enter Google Chrome. Then we'll enter YouTube again. Next, we enter YouTube. The ball, settings, do here it says a book. Zoom in and click where the policy is and it would take us to what Google Chrome is. We click here use without a Google account, done. Let's see if it lets us enter settings. Open Google Maps. Open Google Maps, no, no. No, no, not this one. No, that one open. Setting, open. Open settings. It lets us open settings. Well, in that case then what we're going to do now is the following. What we're going to do is click here. Here we're going to select here. Here we're going to add what is a Gmail account. We're going to put an account that I created. If you don't have one you can create a new one here. Well I'm going to add this one. M, we're going to click here. I'm going to add this one which is faster. I'm going to pause. Ready. Now I'm going to click on log in. We're going to click on log in. We're going. We're going to click on not now and that's it. As we can see we already have our account added. What we're going to do now, 
Well, we're going to remove the SIN car. We're going to remove this SIN car. We're going to remove this SIN car. Ready. Now we're going to press the power button. The volume down button at the same time. We press those two buttons when the device turns off we release. The volume down button holding the volume up button and the power button we're going to hold it. And then we will be able to enter recovery mode. Now we release the power button while holding the volume up button. Let's hold it. Let's hold it. Now we will get this little Android doll. We are going to press the power button. Volume up. We release the volume up and then the power button as if it were a frequency quickly. Now we give it where it says wiper data factory reset with power on we select. Here we would already be doing this reset. Now what we are going to do is the following. We are going to select the first option that says reboot system. Not here we are going to wait for our phone to completely reboot. When it completely reboots we are going to do the following. The most important part is still missing. We are going to do the most important part. That is why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end to be able to solve what this problem is so you can recover your device. We also have other additional methods in the description of the video and in the comments. Our device has already rebooted. We are going to click next. We are going to click next. We are going to click here too. Now what we are going to do, we are going to connect what is to a Wi-Fi network. We're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We're going to click on skip here. We're going to click on skip. We're going to connect. Ready. Now what we're going to do is wait until we get to the option for a moment or this option where it says don't copy. And then it would take us directly to what it is. Well let's wait here it showed us that there are no connections. The internet is a little slow let's wait. Let's wait for it to take us to the next settings and then do and finish this video tutorial. You know for those people who want to see our content. That it offers we have the community of members that offers us see the videos. In advance so you can enjoy our content in. Advance well here it's not going to show what. That screen lock is yet and not yet now it's going to show us what we're going. To get to where the Gmail account is how do you remember that we added? That it was an email and the password we're going to add it here. We're going to pause the video while I add that that email is and that password. We add everything. Then we're going to hit next here well let's add it you wrote it wrong. We hit next. Let's see and as you can see the little padlock that was already in the upper left seems to have been removed. Now what we're going to do is hit jump, hit jump, we're going to hit jump here again. We're going to hit jump, here we accept. We click OK. Let's go. Let's wait. Let's wait. We click here. We're almost finished with this process and then add our information, such as email. Adding what a screen lock is and all that. Information so we can use our recovered device. You know, we put together videos every day for those people who want to be informed and updated on these devices.
It seems that it has turned off, let's see what happened. What happened here? And as you can see, we already have our device ready. Ready to be used correctly.